Hey everybody, welcome back to the next episode of Auto Essence Detailing. Today we're just going to play around some coatings on this rental. It's really trashed. You can probably hear the wind to the side. There is a hurricane to the south of us that may be going to miss us. But either way, let's get started. All right, so first we're just gonna go ahead and uh, clean this panel up here. We're just gonna go on the hood right here. Just gonna go ahead and clean it up, decon it with some purple power vehicle boat wash. Go ahead and get it cleaned up. You see, there's a lot of crap on here. So we're just gonna clean that up real quick. So just put you guys down. And I'll be right back. So we're just going to keep scrubbing around. Panel's trash already so we don't have to worry about any marring. Let's just clean it up. So you can see the panel is already flat. There's nothing on there. Literally. That's how rental cars are. There's really nothing on it. It just gets beat up. Totally flat. No, no beating whatsoever. We're gonna go to the next step. Just go ahead and uh, do some iron removal on here. Give me just a moment. Alright, I'm armed with my iron removal. Favorite one. Very cheap iron, but very effective. You go one black and plastic coat. Let's get started. This stuff smells tenacious. It's 
So it's supposed to turn purple, dark purple, but you probably won't see it's black paint and it's very dark out here. So we'll let it sit for just a bit. And we'll go ahead and rinse it off and prep the panel. started on rinsing this off to get the panel prepped. It is very tenacious. Panel is totally flat. that and it's holding all the water everything still going probably do just another final rinse just to get everything off Sees. The contaminants are just coming off now. But it really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna play around. Give me just a moment while I'll go ahead and rinse it out. Go ahead and rinse it down. See, it doesn't take long or much to just flood the panel. Just give me a second. I'm just gonna get a like microfiber towel to dry this off. Might take a while. Give me just a moment. Alright, move the panel 
dry for a bit. But I'll just go ahead and mop it up. See, it's very tacky. Very tacky. Very tacky. Give me a moment, we'll go ahead and prep the panel and coat it up. Okay, panel's dry. Just gonna prep it real quick with some Geon prep. Normally I don't do this one-handed. down and go ahead and get the entire panel prepped. Alright so the panel is prepped. This is probably the cleanest the uh, front of the car has ever been in its lifetime. But it's all cleared up, cleaned up. down and just give me a moment. So this is what it looks like. Without the coatings I'm just taping it up right now. So we have the UK 3.0 on this side. I'm gonna put a titanium three-year coating on this side. Deluxe expired just for the fun of it. UK 3.0 again, Titan 3 year again, and some leftover Deluxe that I still have. We got our panel set up, so I've already applied UK 3.0 from CarPro, and we have our titanium 3 year coating right there, right there, CarPro Gliss, CarPro C-Quartz UK 3.0. And some old deluxe, you're not supposed to apply on paint, but I did it anyways. Titanium 3 year coating again. And again, some deluxe. So, this is what our panel looks like. I'm just gonna go ahead and let it cure. So, it won't get the full 12 hours, 24 hours that it should, but all the coatings will have the same and equal time to cure and we'll see what they can do with that but I do know the titanium three-year coating only needs six hours to cure so we'll just let it sit overnight let it go through some rain possibly tomorrow and we'll see how the fun begins 
so if you like this video please do make sure to subscribe to future videos maybe see some water behavior behavior videos of this pretty soon but yeah if you like this video whether you don't like it thumbs up thumbs down please at least just subscribe so you can see and be alerted of future videos but for now thank you for watching